This helicopter hovering along the border caught our eye. Channel 5 News photojournalist Justin Michelle captured this video last Friday. Watch the helicopter go behind the treetops. It appears to be on U.S. soil. Can you see the fin on the front of the aircraft? We found out this helicopter doesn't belong to any American law enforcement agency. There's no question of the demarcation in terms of what, what is Texas and what's Mexico. It's the Rio Grande River. This is an interview from 2010. DPS Director Steve McCraw says he wouldn't tolerate Mexico entering U.S. airspace without permission. We tracked down who gave the okay. Channel 5 News called four federal agencies and two state agencies. Only one federal agent confirmed Mexican military was training. Spanish has happened before. We warned you three years ago it would happen again. They had some armed individuals in the helicopter. Uh, had an open ramp in the rear of the helicopter with armed individuals. Uh, very military looking, very military style and very military prepared. This is an interview in Zapata County. A Mexican military style helicopter was spotted on the American side of Falcon Lake. It hovered over a known criminal house. This time no house, but possibly armed men on the aircraft. This is an area that's difficult for our law enforcement to patrol. The Government Accountability Office cited problems our federal agents have in federal wildlife lands. They're reduced to foot. We're always concerned on, you know, with Mexican military over here and we're operating here as well. And there's the, the lack of coordination in terms of just even accidental problems that can occur to it. It seems that concern remains. We reached out.